everybody. My name's Jen Carney and um, I'm the author and the illustrator of this book, The Accidental Diary of Bug. I'm absolutely over the moon that it's been shortlisted for the Spark Book Awards. Thank you. Um, and you know, let's face it, a book award that's um, voted for by children is the very best one that a children's author could hope to um, be on and win, of course. So um, my book is called The Accidental Diary of Bug and it's a comedy. It's written in diary style by this character here. Her name's Billy and she's 10 years old and she's very funny. She doesn't like spellings and she loves biscuits. And um, if it's OK, I'd like to read you a chapter, if, first of all, and um, I'm going to read you the very first chapter. The chapters in my books are very short. This one's particularly short and it's entitled Never Bug Me. Hello, my name is Belinda Upton Green and my number one rule, which I'll make perfectly clear before we go any further, is don't ever call me Bug. Well, how would you like it if someone called you by your initials? Most of you would be called ridiculous, impossible to pronounce things like hajum or Bk or vums. But what about your friends with names such as Penelope, Olivia, Orwell or Bobby Underwood Miller? They'd be even more embarrassed than me. You get my point? In my opinion, you should only allow this very silly nickname trend, which went round my school last week, if you're lucky enough to be called something like Anthony Charles Egan or Eliza Poppy Isabel Carter. Don't say I didn't warn you. Especially you, Frederick Archibald Rushton Tarbuck. Anyway, you can call me Billy. And on every page of my book, there is something other than words. So there's little doodles like here's Penelope Olivia Orwell and um, two characters that Billy has just invented with um, amazing names. Epic, Eliza Poppy Isabel Carter and Anthony Charles Egan, Ace. Oh yes, and of course down here we have um, the very attractive Frederick Archibald Rushton Tarbuck. Billy, the narrator, she can be a little bit rude, but not too rude. So it's a fun book and um, it's as well as a story. The story in this book is about what happens when um, things start to go missing from Billy's school. Big things like um, a teacher's purse is stolen from the staff room. And um, all this starts to happen right at the same time as a new girl joins Billy's class. Here's the new girl. Her name is Janie. And so as well as being a comedy, it's a bit of a mystery, I guess. One that you can try to solve while you're reading. And um, in my book, there are lots of um, interactive pages for you as a reader to get involved with. So, yeah, here's one. So, for example, here is... Um, a page that would help you figure out what your ideal cake would be. Very important thing to figure out. And um, oh yes, and there's a lot of talk about biscuits. Billy and her friends form a club and um, they come up with a set of laws as to how biscuits should be eaten. And here's a list of um, the first five of those biscuit laws that they come up with, um, which, you know, you can see if you agree or disagree with and, you know, maybe get some biscuits and try them out. It's basically a lot of fun and packed with uh, little distractions um, and things, you know, it's more than just lots of words telling a story. There's lots of things to do. So um, I hope you love reading it and um, I also hope you really enjoy reading the other books on the shortlist. Uh, thank you again for putting my book on there and um, you know you've got a tough decision to make so um, get reading!